So I'm here with Joris Hendricks, who is the president of Vivas uh, University of Applied Sciences in Bruges, where we are hosting the Eden uh, 2019 conference. And uh, Joris, I, I, I wanted to ask you about uh, your university. What is it that you do here? We are a university of applied sciences uh, with 13,000 students. Uh, we offer um, courses in, in six study fields, six faculties. So we have um, bachelor degrees, yeah, only bachelor degrees. So we are a member of the uh, association of KU Leuven and our graduates can, after having following a bridge program, can go to uh, to the university to become a master, to achieve a master degree. Um, we are located in six places all over the province. Uh, we are one of the biggest universities of applied sciences of Flanders. And what was it that made you decide to host the Eden conference this year? This is a big international event with many, many people coming from all over the world. Uh, and Vivas is, is hosting it. Why? Uh, first, internationalization is very important for us. Uh, we are we live near the border of France and near the border of England, and um, speaking uh, foreign languages is very important. Uh, internationalization is important to achieve the international competence for the students. Uh, but we are also market leader in e-learning mm. uh, and distance learning, and um, the connection between internationalization and e-learning. I think it's the purpose of the Eden Conference in connecting um, all the, the technology, uh, education, t educational technology with education itself. Uh, with a university this size, with this many students, uh, why is it that uh, educational technology is so important? Uh, we try to enhance our dis distance learning. Um, for distant students, those students who are following abroad or, uh, or, or, or at home. Uh, so it's not only uh, allowing that they are not present in, in the lessons, mm -hmm. yeah, but we, we uh, make special technology, special courses. Uh, so it's a, it's a matter of, of organizing in an educational and technological way. Uh, so that will be enhanced in the, t in the future um, because the dropout is very high in, mm. in uh, distance learning. But we have also multi-campus um, multi um, education. So we have courses, the same courses at several places in the province. Mm. So, and it's a it's difficult to organize it all in an economic way, uh, in the classic way of uh, giving mm. teaching in a class, in a traditional class. So we try to 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 have collaboration rooms. We have we try to have uh, rooms where we can follow at different places mm -hmm. the same lesson. Yeah. So we become free from place and time in the future more than now. That's a very interesting um, idea that I think many universities are hoping to achieve also. So we talk about traditional education, face-to-face -face education, and we talk about distance education. What is it that makes a teacher who is a traditional educator good at being a distance educator? But it's, um, these are other students, so face-to-face uh, uh, -face, um, education uh, will stay important yeah? because you have some, some community, uh, it, it's, it's, it's important for students, you are more than a student, it's more than following lessons, you are a member of a whole community, uh, you achieve so, uh, social skills and so on, so it's, a, it's an important period in, in your life, your student life, so the face-to-face uh, education will 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 remain uh, the main form of education, but for elderly students and uh, students who have already uh, children or are already wor working, because long life lear learning is is important and distance learning, e-learning is more important for other groups than the traditional students of 18 years. Yeah, thank you very much.